Hello, my name is Pichu, Papa India Tango Yankee uniform and my call sign is Yankee Oscar 6 Papa November Quebec. And in this video I want to talk about my high gain j antenna which is uh, designed and made by myself to work uh, on the 2 meters amateur band. Uh, the uh, base, I mean the uh, lower part of the antenna is made out of uh, copper tubing and the upper part um, is made out of a section of a car CB antenna which is cut to size. So, let's start with the base here. Uh, there I have the choke balloon, which is a must, it's an essential part of this antenna because it stops the copper braid in the wire from radiating. And here, here's the uh, connector, the two tuning slides, and here is the tuning stub. And what's interesting in on this tuning stub, and uh, what I want to show you as a tip, uh, is this. I uh, placed on the upper end of the tuning stub a bolt and two nuts and there one nut is soldered on the upper end of the tube and so by the turning of the uh, bolt I can adjust uh, precisely the length of the tuning stub and I can uh, fine-tune the antenna Right now I don't want to uh, detune my antenna because it's uh, very well tuned. I have a standing wave ratio of uh, 1.2 to 1. So I think that's pretty good. And so, here I have the phasing element, which is made out of a aluminum bar. And it's uh, coiled up, so it's more balanced against the wind. And uh, it looks a lot cooler in this way. Uh, uh, the form doesn't matter, just the length of the conductor must be one, one half of the wavelength, so that's critical. And uh, here I have a hard plastic insulator, and I have two screws going, it, uh, going into it. And this is the upper part, uh, the half of a wavelength. <coughs> element on the top, which is cut to size from a car CB antenna, as I said, and I can tune the antenna from here too, because loosening the screw, I'm able to, uh, yes, picking it out, so there you have it. It's pretty flexible, it's lightweight, and uh, the wind doesn't push it so hard, so the wind, the wind can't grab it so hardly. And as I said by sliding it inside or outside you can tune it from here too. So in my case uh, it has to go uh, in all the way down so I didn't ruin the tuning at all. So This is it in all its splendor looks like this. It's pretty tall when you uh, place it up, but uh, works very good. I, uh, I've checked it out with that guy over there. This is an old uh, military uh, transceiver, um, which is modified. I uh, put to <coughs> I've put in some new quartz crystals, so I, right now I have 10 channels on the 2 meter band, so it puts out uh, 25 watts of radio power, so it's pretty good. Ah, and uh, this guy over here is my homebrew uh, um, shortwave transceiver, which is not finished yet, as you can see it's not painted and it's uh, you have I have to work a bit on it and also I have to build the the frequency meter the scale but uh, it works pretty well this this guy too and also the, I have there the cable and the support for the j pole so this is my antenna 
my homebrew antenna. It works pretty well. And uh, yes, it works the money spent on it and uh, works pretty well. You can build it from pieces easy, easily available and uh, it's a very high performance, very good antenna. So, bye for now 73 and good luck.